wise traveler, welcome back to another Rec Room video, and I, of course, have Rec Room news for you. In standard school fashion, I, of course, am late to a lot of my news, though, because your boy had to release his My Little Monsters video, of course. But, 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 that's not gonna stop me, so let's, of course, get into everything in today's video. So, if you haven't already, be sure to support me in-game by using code SKULL. I appreciate it so much, and it's just like you're giving me money for free. Anyways, Rec Room has dropped a new weekly, and we have some few updates to talk about. As you guys can see, we have like this forest vibe for our weekly shop, and inside you guys can find our a bunch of Rec Royale stuff. To top that off, we have this new tech camper set, and if you guys are interested in full body avatars, we now have these shorts available too. Continuing onwards, with the release of My Little Monsters, Rec Room has this little, you know, thing up inside the Rec Center, taking you straight to Cryptid Creek where you guys will be able to go and hatch your very own cute little monsters. We have this for our Rec Center shop if you guys are wondering, and it now says, now exploring Cryptid Creek on the Rec Center sign. To top this off, Rec Room released a Rec Room Gallery. If you guys don't know what Rec Room Gallery is, it's basically where a bunch of Rec Room artists slash builders go and make their best artistic and creative looking artistic inventions, and you guys can check it out in game or through the Creative Club YouTube channel. And with this rotation, we received our last weekly item. Weekly challenges are right there as you guys can see, and of course, what are your guys' thoughts on the pumpkin spice boots being our last weekly? You might have noticed that we have a new featured creator too named Kata. Just because I accept your friend request, don't spam invite me, that's so real. They're part of Cozy Crew, Studio Gribbly, and Arch Projects, and you guys can see their Discord. They love Xan, and they hate March. I wonder why. But it's so sad to see weekly challenges go and stuff like that, and I really do hope that Rec Room, you know, brings a new system soon. Now, yes, that's right. Full Body Avatars is out for everyone inside of Rec Room now. Rec Room had an announcement saying, Hey y'all, I'm back with much better news this week. The Full Body Avatars beta is now available for everyone, and to celebrate, we're giving out an exclusive beta sweater for free so you can say you were here before limbs were cool. If you want it early, you can head to the rec center and grab it now. So you heard them? You guys basically need to start a fresh new instance inside the rec center to get this shirt that I have on right now. Yeah, that's pretty much it. you love to see it. And honestly, it kind of reminds me of Scientology, weirdly enough. Now for our main course of news, Rec Room just released a new Rec Room original called My Little Monsters. Of course, they had their entire launch trailer, and honestly, it's such a cute Rec Room original, one of the cutest. I definitely also think it looks super good as well. I'm a big fan of how they did it, and I think they just really cooked on this one. Rec Room, you better add some more monsters though. We definitely need to get some more cryptids in there. Sigma, how are you? I haven't seen you in a bit, Sigma, I hope you've been fine without me. Anyways, though, we have some news and stuff that I wanted to talk about inside of My Little Monsters. Now, there was some general chatter on the Rec Room Discord, and the Rec Room developer was asked if there would be more My Little Monster items, and if we'd be able to take our monsters somewhere else, like the Rec Center. Jeff says, what do you mean by items? If it's wearable cosmetics, I don't know. Decorations of My Little Monsters, I also don't know, but we don't usually update ROs after the fact, which is super sad to see. The game My Little Monsters lives in the room. I don't think we'll be doing anything like being able to bring your monsters anywhere. <sighs> super sad news, but honestly, that would be super cool if we could take our monsters to other places, of course. You guys might have also not have noticed, but there's also many actual references to other Rec'em originals like Make It to Midnight inside of My Little Monster. Well, people have found out that Wilson even talks about Make It to Midnight being in some sort of movie and how it was based off some real thing that happened. And when you're trying to craft a porta potty, it even makes a joke about clowns and stuff like that, kind of, you know, referencing the porta potties in Make It to Midnight. Also, when asked if there would be a battle mode, Rec'em developer Helios had said that we do not currently have a battle mode. I definitely do think there's a lot of emphasis on that currently, and honestly, we could just be speculating, but let us hope, let us hope. He also backed it up by saying, decorate the perfect sanctuary and get lots of new ones and make sure they are max age and light levels. And of course, folks, you've heard it here from the Rec Room developer, max out your My Little Monsters. Now, people were also talking about activity rewards inside of My Little Monsters, and there's actually a few free cosmetics. First off, there is the shirt store where you guys can actually get your free shirts and stuff like that. If you guys don't know, you guys can actually get all these free shirts of the three different cryptids just by going and getting your separate cryptid, depending on whichever one you hatch, and going to rename it. Let's say I hatched, you know, like a Chupacabra first. I would have the Chupacabra shirt, but I want the Sasquatch shirt. Shirt. So I would have to take Sigma, go get him renamed, or you know, use my first free rename, and of course it would then give me the Sasquatch shirt. So that's how you claim your free items for the, uh, you know, Trooper Cobra Cryptids and etc etc. When you guys get them to the max age, you guys will also receive a reward, which is just like the little headband for their, you know, hair. So I thought that was super cool as well, and... Apparently someone could grab their monsters at one point? That was, th that's super interesting. It stopped moving after they stopped grabbing it though. 
To top that off, Requiem players have also found out that you guys can get golden eggs, which means golden monsters. You'll eventually come across a quest line, which is talking about Cornelius's grand adventure or journey or something like that, and you'll be needing to get the golden cryptid eggs. And this is how you do it. If you're ever in the Evergrown and you come across a weird cryptid statue that's all in stone, well, you basically need your actual, you know, cryptid to use its light to open that stone statue up so you can receive that golden egg. A viewer sent that in and honestly I thought that was so cool and I think you definitely need to just keep playing My Little Monsters to get that quest. Of course, don't forget to get your guys' you know, free visits, I'm still waiting on my you know, free visit for the day. Players are also finding this weird save data button inside the game too which was also super funny and it's actually been revealed that the Paintball AR League is no longer sponsored so no more gold burst rifle it's sadly. For any other leagues that are sponsored where you can get the burst rifle from, be sure to let me know if there is. Now players with the pop-up games were noticing that they have this new mute notification on their actual UI. Kind of weird. I honestly don't like the placement of the mute button, I feel like that's kind of you know like demotivating for the social interaction but maybe I'm, maybe I'm just stupid like that. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts and do you guys have pop-up? games in Rec Room? Sigma is going to read out all my channel members because he's just a little stinky kid and of course he just asked me if he wanted to. So big massive shout out to all my channel members which include Garlic Bread, Coley, It's Freddy RR, Jack Tutorial, Jay, Now the Pup, Astro Boy, Dozer Blade Cap, BB Burning Owl, Bucket Guy, Yo It's Jakey, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix69, and Box David. Thank you guys so much for the love and if you're a squid lead I appreciate you guys spending your money on me as well. Now let me put you guys inside my cryptid's head. Come here Sigma, come here. Also players were falling off of the My Little Monsters map due to the Evergrown, you know, not teleporting you in time. Basically, when you're going back from the Evergrown lobby and going into Cryptid Creek, if it doesn't take you to Cryptid Creek and you keep going, there was like this little open hole inside the land where you could jump in and you would just be under the map. It's kind of strange under the map, to be honest with you. And of course, what are your guys' thoughts? Rickham also had a new developer blog on the Pathfinder tool. You guys can see it right there, but they also had an announcement talking about it as well. How to use the new Pathfinder tool. Want to add cool interactive paths for objects and AI to your rooms? The Pathfinder tool lets you set paths and boundaries for objects within your game. So now your characters won't be walking through walls anymore. You can read our new dev blog for how to use. And it even has a cute little blue chupacabra. I love to see it. So that's pretty much all the My Little Monster news and I think Rec Room news for today. So me and Sigma are going to go lounge around, he seems a little tired, and of course, I appreciate you guys watching till this point in the video. It means so much to me and if you guys haven't already, be sure to check out my second channel where I post other VR news and other just, you know, creative outlet stuff. And of course, as per usual, be sure to actually like the channel and subscribe to the video. I'll catch you guys inside the next one and I gotta hit you now. <laughs>